if I may be so bold as to offer a first impressions video on him. I am talking slowly because I'm, I think I'm still processing. I think you have to play Artanis suicidally. Welcome to Heroes of the Storm, you can do better. I am Patinator, and I'm not saying it's going to be the best build, but I think it's going to be a pretty exciting one, and we are going to build around his trait. And if for some reason all you want to see is the gameplay, I don't blame you. You can click on the annotation on the lower left or the timestamp in the description below to skip straight to the action. I am talking funny because I committed a mortal sin. I had peanuts before recording, which is very bad for your throat. Dries it up, makes it seem a little weird. Oh, and if you're still around after that bit of rambling, let's take a look at his, at his abilities. Together, blade dash, dash forward, then back again, dealing damage to enemies. Yeah, that's about it. You deal less damage going forward and more damage going back. All you need to know. W, your next basic attack. Twin blades, your next basic attack hits twice. Immediately. There's still a weird animation thing, so I I actually haven't been able to tell if it takes the same amount of time or not. But this gets points for me. For one, it looks cool. It's a very zealot thing to it. Two, it combos very well with his trait, which we'll get to in a moment. Three. Mana cost of 25 cooldown of 4 seconds. You know what that means? That means you can spam it, which fits in very well. I know this is a f with our trait. I know this is a first impressions video, and my impression is we're going to build around that trait. His E is face prism. It, he throws a doinky little, I want to say, you know, prism shaped thing, but it looks like it. It, it looks like he's throwing a dreidel at you and teleporting with it. That's it. You, you, you switch. You know, places with the first person you hit with the dreidel. It's okay. It's a little slow for my taste. But I'm not going to say it lacks utility. It's a very strong ability. I just wish it didn't look, you know, so silly. In the flank, you can pull one of their main damage dealers out of the fight. Start dueling with them. No, not start dueling them, but at least, you know, keep them out of the fight. Just pull people out of position. It's a stitch of soak, except you're putting yourself in danger. And that's... I think is the key. You have to put yourself in danger because of the trait. This is a happy balance between Leoric and Tyrael's abilities that work on death and all common sense. You get shield overload. If you take damage while below 50% health, you gain a shield for 5 seconds. That's great so far. It lets you, gives you a little boost. But Pat, what separates it from a normal ability, from, you know, Johanna's trait? The fact that basic attacks lower the cooldown of shield overload by 4 seconds, that's what. So we can build his offense and defense simultaneously and all it will require from you, aside from basic common sense and good play, is to be aggressive. Be -e aggressive because this build is not going to work if we play defensively, you're basically turning off your own talents four of them and I hesitate to call it a build because that is far from what it is it is not refined it is not properly researched but it just feels like something I would like to play before we get into that let's finish talking about his basic stuff let's talk about his heroic great ability this one both of his heroics are global suppression pulse fire a large pulse from the spear of Adun dealing damage and blinding enemies for four seconds unlimited range two important things it's very, very cheap, costs 40 mana, and has a cooldown of 50 seconds, similar to the Medivac. It's a utility ability. You can support your team from afar if they're getting ingressed on while you're out of position, or you just recently respawned. You can immediately dump this, and the only way the enemy team can deal damage is through their abilities, which they may have spent already, giving your team room to breathe. All good things. Purifier Beam is... You target one guy anywhere on the field. If you can see him, you can target him with the Purifier Beam. Spear of Adun shoots him. That's it. It's very simple. Unfortunately, it also it, the beam is also very slow. So someone can just gently, you know, calmly, and deliberately walk out of the beam. And it's not going to do anything. However, if you have a lot of stuns, roots, slows, you may get a lot of mileage out of it. So basically, if they, you have, they have a lot of auto attackers, suppression pulse. If they don't, pure fire beam. That's about it. Although there, there's an argument to be made that there may always be suppression pulse because the range in this thing is huge. It covers an entire lane, basically. I mean, the width of a lane, not the length of a lane. 
I think it's about half the length of lane, which is still a pretty big area. Anyway, let's move on to his talents. Don't like his level 1 talents? I'm gonna gloss over this because this is stuff 1 that is better read because you should, you'll should probably be able to process it better if you read it yourself on your own time, either by looking at him in the shop or looking up an article. And you know, I'm telling people to leave the video essentially in this case, but it's just, it's easier processed reading. I'm just gonna look at the abilities that particularly stand out to me. And at level one, it's, oh my God, this is terrible. Uh, okay. Okay, Darian Resonance lets you miss your E and not pay for it. Cooldown is reduced by 8 seconds and your mana is refunded if you miss your E. That feels like a waste of an E and it doesn't help with our tankiness. It helps with our utility, sort of. If you miss it a lot, at least you get to miss some more. No, that's mean, that's mean. I just don't like it because it's a failure state. It implies you failed at something. It's not something that improves you. It, it's not something that makes you better as a warrior. It's just something that, oops, it didn't hurt as much, I guess. Reactive parry is block that, it, you know, a form of block that is actually terrible. When you activate twin blades, the damage is reduced when next hero basic attack by 50% can start up to two charges. If it start up to three charges, maybe, but even then, I just don't like it. But it's kind of like, it's, I, I can see the flavor behind it you you charge up your blades ready for a twin strike and then you you know you're you're revved up ready to block unfortunately in action i don't feel it's very good amateur opponent you deal bonus damage to non-heroic enemies and since it's non-heroic this also deals you know bonus damage to mercenaries to objectives which is, which will probably be very important and to siege camps and yes and to siege camps and to buildings and forts so there may be an argument to be made for this. But then, if you're doing that anyway, why not just take Seasoned Marksman? I I hate recommending Seasoned Marksman. It's, it's a very niche pick. It really depends on the map. It really depends on the flow of the game and who you see on the other side of the map. If on your lane, you know, they can consistently bully you and even with your, ver your amazing survivability thanks to your shield... If you can get pushed out, you're not going to get the stacks you need to make this work. Which means they basically won the lane and cost you a talent choice. Not good. Reactive parry is a safe choice. Amateur opponent, there is actually a good argument to be made for this. That's your jungle, that's you attack objectives with your W. And you can spam your W because, again, the cost is 20 mana. 25 mana, rather. And 4 seconds of cooldown. And the, it activates on your next basic attack so you can keep it indefinitely if you don't attack anything the charge doesn't get used up anyway seasoned marksman is very good because it'll combo very well with what we're trying to do with him level four for me there are two options here it's chrono surge or templar surge. chrono surge because when you hit with your face prison it grants you bonus attack speed for four seconds since he you know he suddenly gets one point Two five basic attacks instead of his standard one per second, which means that he's cooling down his shields faster. Which means that if he's below fifty percent life, all of a sudden his shields come back. At, see, his shields come back offline, and then he pops back up again. So it it always looks like he's a juicy target, and I think that's what they wanted to do with him, as insane as that sounds, because he's low on health, and you can't tell whether his shields are off cooled down. He looks like such a juicy target, but then his cooldown happens. And it's just that it's a really different experience. Like, this is your bait. That's a problem that tanks have. They're not sticky. There's nothing with telling people, hey, pay attention to me. You, as Artanis, are playing on their greed when you build around your trait. They see someone low health. Why not kill Artanis? He can do decent damage. The Spear of Vadun is floating over him. Why not hit him? Maybe his shield is up. Maybe his shield is down. Did he build around his shield? Maybe. But then they have to think about it. They have to consider killing you. If they don't kill you, it gives your shields time to come back up. If they kill you, you're doing your job as a warrior, a frontliner, a tank, and keeping everyone safe by absorbing the damage into you. And then your shield might pop back up anyway, and you might not die. 
And that's why I like Chrono Search. <laughs> and, it, and the rest of anything that makes his talent work better. Such as Templar Zeal. This combo is very well. Because his shield functions be his shield is only functional when he's below 50% health. And when you are also below 50% health, his Q, Blade Dash, recharges 75% faster. Why is that important? Because of our level 7 talent. Blades, uh, Psionic Synergy. Blade Dash reduces shield overloads cooldown by 4 seconds when it hits an enemy hero. Every time it hits an enemy hero. I've seen it proc multiple times, but that might just be me hallucinating. And the point is, then your shields just keep staying up. And you can keep going like the Energizer Bunny and people are wondering why you're not dying. It's because your shield keeps procking. Oh, it's all good. Anyway, yes, I like that. I like that ability. Follow through if you feel like you have enough shields, but why die when you have the choice to die less? Anyway, level 10, we've discussed the heroics. Level 13, yeah, I kind of got ahead of my side. I'm just really excited over this triple strike is my pick here because one it, it's a combination of offense and defense it lets you hit thrice which combos well with our it synergizes rather with our seasoned marksman synergizes with our shield with our trait it's damage and offense in one talent for an ability that you can basically spam your w so it's it's hard for me to pick anything else uh, Gravity and Vortex is the shish kebab version of his E, where he pulls two people instead of one. It's... Someone's probably gonna make this seem amazing, but I'm not a fan of it. But I'm not a fan of his E either. Phase Bulwark, if you're facing a, facing a lot of ability damage, it's a toss-up between these two, actually. Because this is useful. It's not like Spell Shield, where you get procced once and oops, that's it. For the next few seconds, it's gone for an over 45. Because your shield overload is going to activate a lot. Presumably. You're going to get a lot of mileage out of that 50% less damage from ability. So, it's all good. Very good. I There are no words for it. It's just... You can't hurt him. If you hurt him below 50, all of a sudden he becomes this superhero. This crisis suit ready to wreck face. Burning Rage is okay. Burning Rage is Burning Rage is burning. Level 16. Okay. More shields good. So that's fine. More and increases the shields of your trait by 50%. But the case to the normal amount over 30 seconds. 3 seconds is a long time, guys. Is that a charge? Because it, it just feels good to get your face in there. And when you charge somebody, People will click on you, people will hurt you, and then they hurt you, and then your shields are up, and then you keep punching someone. You have... Oh my god, this is just so good. Titan Killer is his version of Giant Killer, but only works when triple... Uh, when his Twin Blades are active, so I'm not a fan of it. Sionic Wound, Twin Blades, Final Strike, causes enemy heroes to become vulnerable for two seconds. So, it's alright. Strictly okay. If you need to take down a big target like a tank, this is where you want to go. Only works on enemy heroes. Keep that in mind. Level 20. Well, he doesn't have Bolt of the Storm, but that might not even be necessary on him because he wants to stay in the fight. He doesn't want to leave. Arbiton Bombardment. Two uses of Blind. Amazing. Target Purified imp improves his Purifier Beam. Automatically recasts when it kills somebody. Yeah, so it's basically a triple attack combined with Nova's Orbital Bombardment. It just keeps shooting people. Force of Will is where I want to go. Increases the cooldown reduction from basic attacks for your trait to 6 seconds. So your triple thing at level 13, triple strike. Now reduces the cooldown of your trait to 2 seconds. And then you hit someone with your Cyanic Synergy. All of a sudden, it's off cooldown and you're getting more shields. Nexus Blades is strictly okay. You don't have the biggest basic attacks. 44 starting damage is not a lot. But it is something, and if you want to be a little stickier, but I feel like it's a waste because you're giving up a lot to take 20% more damage and it's low. I do not feel it's worth it, you may disagree. Go with what feels for you. I mean, that's why I argued for Zealot Charge, because it feels really good, it looks awesome. So yeah, I may be a little worked up. I kind of like Artanis. Anyway, who cares about the matchups, you just want to see Artanis and... Here's our Tannis. I'm fairly certain that the bar for excellence for our Tannis will be 
figuring out when to use that E, that dangerous E, that divey E. Uh, now would be good actually. Oh, I guess we're just gonna kill her. Slash. Wow. Okay, I guess we're shredding her today. Let us start clearing this wave. Is anybody gonna go to bot? Uh, just gonna dash back. Let's start clearing the wave, and we can clear the wave. Give Butcher some meat. Give ourselves some seasoned marksman stacks. Hey, it's a bullet now. Yeah, that's neat. I don't really pick that ability all that much. Hmm, an owl. Bot is two versus one. XR appears to have some sort of advantage. You can go through walls. That's amazing and tragic. Goodbye, Butcher. What were you thinking? I'm not even going to get into that right now. I can't handle it. I'm not emotionally ready for it. Just dash around, be a nuisance. Wow, I'm happy that didn't hit. If that had hit, it would have been tragic. Mm. They appear to be laning better than us now. Mid and bot are pressured. What are you doing? Press that W so you can clear this. Alright. If anybody challenges us at the temples, I think... We can just put them in a bad place, pull them over here. So we're gonna stick over here. Wow, I, I just realized Artanis is huge. Okay, I want that Jaina. Okay, now we're gonna position ourselves more aggressively so that if Jaina walks by... Okay, I was hoping to get her in on that, but that's okay, we didn't get her in. Alright, Templar Zeal, more Qs, more Qs. Alright, our Butcher went in on that, that's okay. Let's not break the rule here. And clear our escape route first. I'm clearing this one first so that if we do get aggressed on by a superior force, we will at least have room to leave. And so the light oh, she has a friend. But happy Dash is happy. Oh. You don't have to sustain for this. <laughs> but I do. Let's not die. Let's not die. Oh, minions! Oh, minions. Oh well. We traded two, one, two for one, so I'm okay with that. Oh, minions. I saw that. I saw that bolt and thought, that's the end. But at least we got stacks. We got bonus five damage on our stacks. Let's see. It is getting a little pressured. Bot is fairly pressured. However, for it's losing some ammo. I'm gonna float over here. Just to be more aggressive about it. Because you don't have escapes. Wow, the range of that is horrid. <laughs> it's also really slow. Okay, we can pull them out if we want. Wow! Oh, two medics here, right? Leaving now. I don't think we want to go damage. Full tank, I think. No one's at top. Oh. That was weird. And that was all very weird but at least I I'm at a loss I was in a bad position should have left I cannot fail. it's just getting you know I think all of my brains fell out while I was waiting for the queue no excuses really it's more of I'm still trying to gauge what he can he can't do I don't know how far he can push himself yet the way I know how far I can push his stitches I think here we want to pull someone out of position. More aggressively than we would normally otherwise. Hey man. Let's go kill this. And you're dead. Let's go kill this Tyrande. Uh, okay. Where are we? Okay. That's not the right call. 
did not push on that. Shields up, shields up. All we need to do is live. Okay, shields up again. Shields up again. Medic is lit gone, medic is gone. Dash again. Let's go smack fist. Look at that, our cooldowns are almost gone again. This is exactly what I want to see. Just dash in, get our cooldowns up. Grab her. You're right, okay, close to death. Very exciting. Kind of have some idea of how to play you now. And it's... I don't know, I think. I think we've got him, guys. Okay, how are basic attacks? How are our basic? How are their basic attacks? Tehran going for basic attacks. I will go for the blind. That seems silly, but we're not using up a lot of mana. Okay, okay. I think I think I think. it's starting to click. I'm starting to have my little eureka moment. Wow. Okay. Well, we do know where the enemy team is, so this isn't exactly a bad call. And the medic missed. No, 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 don't teleport me. Wow, okay, we're still going for this, huh? And look at that, nothing you do works now. Because you're all blinded. Okay, that works for me. Somehow we're fighting off the boss and taking the... F we're fighting off the enemy team and taking the boss. Wow, okay. Artanis. I guess you like life on the edge. Uh... Yes. No, I'm gonna back. We're out of mana. And we have a global presence and a 50 second cooldown, so I'll take it. And it's really cheap, which makes sense because it's mostly utility power. Now let's watch out for a butcher. And prepare to drop the R. I hope you picked the B. Now if you pick suppression pulse, that's bad for us. Alright, Tehran moving out of the way. You good ma'am? You good? Alright, you good. Ah, let's take it then. That's so awkward when they dash back. I mean, it's cool and all, it's just very awkward. Hmm, yeah, triple strike. More, I think. We don't have a lot in the way of burst damage, and we're gonna, since it's persistent, we're only gonna really shut down one guy. Let's get out of here before you guys decide to trap me and embarrass me. I only died once so far, once? Twice. But we're responsible for a lot of this. At least we've participated. I like it. Dash in. Press that W because it's cheap. Ugh. I think we just need to be brave. Despite our low health. And when we see low health, we keep charging in anyway. You fought well this day, my warriors. What? Why are they why can we see them? Reveal the way. Did ETC pick it? Okay, pick Mosh Pit. Do we have interrupts? Some. So when you an interrupt. Dash in. Chunk you down. Okay, now everyone's blinded. They don't, you know, figuratively everyone is blinded. Okay, Sonya is here. Let's just chunk her down with our W and call it a day. No need to pressure this. Uh, we're leaving. Butcher is dealing with... I don't know what he's doing. They're coming back here. At least I'm hoping they are. Hey, man. I am the bravest. Possibly. Wow. See, it's not an escape. It's a great poke, but it's not an escape. Okay. That was greedy. Time to go. I'm leaving, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm, I'm leaving. Okay, now you. Time to zone out, make sure that she's not healing her. 
dash back, press the W. No one is here. Okay, let's go up the team, and after we do this, we're gonna back. I think it's just aggression, we just need to push harder. She took the knockback. Dash. And let's punch this, Artanis. Oh, we missed! It's so narrow. Okay, alright. More charging, I think. Ah, oh, we got caught by that, that's okay. Have we been dying the most? We have died the most, but we also have the most takedown, so we've been participating in the most team fights, and we're still feeling this guy out, man. We're still figuring it out. What is the enemy Artanis building? Similar build, if not largely identical. Shield overload, less damage from abilities is... Why? Why would you pick that against our team? Arguably, I should have picked it versus Regina. I just preferred Triple Strike because it com it synergizes better with our shield overload. Do we need that much cooldown? I'm not sure why we should ever have our trade off cooldown. Honestly. And trading is a good idea. Let's see how much time is left. We lost 34 seconds. Okay, let's hope for a pick. I'm feeling what they're going to push in. What is Butcher doing? There can be no doubt. Hmm. I believe that was your first. Let's see where everybody wants to go. You want to go to the top? Team is kind of split. The magic of the temple. But so is their team. All right, we'll just punch everybody in the head. That's that works for me. You get that medic. I don't care about your buffs, and now you're alone. You'll be back. Okay, Sonya is here. Soft poke. Oh, that charge looks amazing. Okay, we got that Sonya scare this wave before we go. And while we've been doing that, everybody's been shredding everything else. Okay, 3 levels have the enemy team. So I'm gonna call this, you know, a very good risk. Wow, that charge is so sexy. It looks so good. It feels good. Love the feel of it. Let's get out of here. Let's go follow our team to the core. Enemy team dominate. Had to tap the well because I was dying. I want to participate in this at least. Hmm. I haven't been taking that much damage. But I'm not sure if shield damage applies to this. We've been getting hit a lot. We're here now! Hey, medic. Actually, why? I will punch this. Press W, punch it in the head. Dash, dramatic dash. And that's the kill. I think I know what I'm gonna do with this character. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first impressions video on our tennis. If you wanna see more Heroes of the Storm and other games, you can subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing. I'm Patinator. I'll see you later.